everybody what is going on i just got home from la it is like 10 o'clock a little bit after and i am still super super pumped up and excited because i was just able to attend the most amazing event i am like still beaming from ear to ear if you guys follow me on instagram then you already saw the um photos or a few photos i was invited by my friend slash makeup artist teacher carolyn simon she is a celebrity makeup artist and she's amazing i just want to say a big thank you to her for asking me to attend this with her it was an awesome event it was by invite only for the big um heads and instructors in the industry so i was just like I, I don't even know, like, lost for words about how, like, thankful I was that she thought of me and wanted to take me with her. So I actually drove down and I met her, and this was a special event going on through Mac Pro, and um, it was held at the, um, I'm sorry, I forget the name. Uh, hold on. Sorry, I'm, like, still, like, so pumped up. I think it was, like, the Belasto or the, let me see. The Belasco Theater, and it was like right off of Hill Street and between 11th and Olympic, if you guys know downtown LA. An amazing, amazing venue. The inside of the theater was gorgeous. So um, basically the event was a demo slash meet and greet um, with the fantastic, amazing, creative makeup artist, Peter Rob King. If you guys don't know who he is, you guys need to definitely get on your smartphones and Google it, IMDB, because the history of his career is so extensive. It goes all the way back to um, the 60s. So just put it that way. He's been doing makeup for 40 plus years at least. So let me just go ahead and give you guys a couple of his most popular um, projects that you guys probably would know about. One of them is actually the Rocky Horror Picture Show. If you guys don't know about that. That's like been 38 years since that came out and that is still an iconic makeup until this day. And that's actually one of the things that he was doing on stage for the demo. So, sorry if my lighting is a little off. I just wanted to say that I look like, ooh, like everything is just shining down on me. But anywho, he's done that. He's done The Princess Bride. He's done two of the Aliens movies with Sigourney Weaver. He has done The Rock with um, Sean Connery. He has done several of the Indiana Jones films. He's done, oh my God, dude, the list like goes on. He just recently um, did the five-year engagement as well as um, he's done The Fugitive. He's done Dark Knight. He has done Bad Teacher. He's done Scream 4. Um, let's see, Balls of Fury, The Prestige. Um, Batman Begins, he's done um, The Matrix, um, The Matrix Reloaded, and The Matrix Revolution, Sweet November. I mean, the list of stuff on his credits are just amazing, and I grew up watching a lot of these movies, so for me to go and see one of my idols in makeup was just like, like it was just like a great moment um i'm gonna have tons of photos so do stay tuned for the end of the video i'm also going to show you guys some footage that i took of him actually doing some demos he did a live demo of the um, makeup that he did in the matrix movie and then he also did a demo of the rocky horror picture show which is a classic iconic makeup as i said and um everybody there was great i got to see levi of temp 2 my amigo i got to run into like quite a few people that i already know in the industry so that was really really fun and um i just had to come home and tell you guys all about it i also was able to get a awesome goodie bag as you can see it says his name right here peter rob king so i'm definitely keeping this bag um they always give stuff out the last couple part of pro events i went to though they didn't really give anything out so I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got. I got three things, which is really cool. I got the um, Prep and Prime. Sorry. And this is actually a full bottle. I'll show you guys. So, yeah. And I don't really use this um, on myself, but I probably will end up using this in my kit because I'm oily and this is just not a good product for me. I also got a lipstick in Ruby Woo. I know you guys all know what that is. It's a gorgeous um, red color. And I actually only have these in my kit, so I actually have one for me now. Yeah, yeah. And then I got a PowerPoint eye pencil, which is really cool because I don't have this or this color. And it is in um, Stubborn Brown. 
and it's just a really dark brown color. I'll swatch it for you guys. So yeah, that's everything I got. And like I said, I just had to come and make this video so I could um, tell you guys how exciting it was. We got to sit through an awesome um, like Q&A with him after. We got to go up and meet him. I got to take a picture with him, ask him some stuff about the Dark Knight movie and Aliens and some of the things that I was interested in about. Um, so yeah, and I you know, went very cute tonight because I wanted to make sure to make a good impression. You know, I set my hair with my rollers that I um, had in my haul video and I love them. They're the Hot Tools brand. So just kind of a messy kind of a look going on right now. And then I just wore a black skirt. So yeah, I just wanted to come and share with you guys my experience. It was awesome listening to all of his um, great experiences on sets off of like glaciers and like listening to him talk about how Harrison Ford dropped a water bottle off of a bridge when they were filming Indiana Jones and it was just a great look into like a time capsule of makeup and being able to listen to somebody that's been in the industry for so long and is still working is just a total inspiration to me. So I just thought I'd come and share with you guys because I know these things inspire me. So I want to inspire other artists out there too. Um, also, I did leave some pictures of my um, makeup tonight and it's just a smoky eye black with some brown. I did use some of my Makeup Forever products. So um, I have gotten quite a few requests to do a tutorial for this look so I will go ahead and do that next week so stay tuned for that and I'm gonna go ahead and film another video because I have some goodies that I um, got and I'm gonna go ahead and film another video so I'm gonna end this one right now again stay tuned for the pictures and the video and I hope that you guys all enjoy late Now, John's going to ask me about something else and stop space, but I do. I mean, you know the script so well, do not you? No, no, it's just interesting because Tim had sideburns, uh, real sideburns, and um, Scott has no sideburns, so I laid on the sideburns, you know, which uh, I'm happy to do. And there isn't time to do a demonstration, unfortunately, but, but that's the story of the sideburns. So, um, they are uh, laid on those stands like that, so, just so you know. But from the back of the wind, which you know, I, I've never seen that before, so it was very cool to watch the first time. My pleasure, so you have to use the back of the wig to... <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to use a blue, well, I'm going to use a blue eyeshadow um, on, the, on the lid, on the upper lid, because when you saw the image from the reel, You'll see that Tim at one point the makeup is, is removed when he goes into the swimming pool. But the problem was that when he did the swimming pool for real, it was perfect because, of course, it set all the makeup and nothing <coughs> moved, everything looked yeah. absolutely fabulous. So, of course, then we had to use oils and various things to break it down because that's what you have to do in movies. Obviously, it wasn't, you know, as everybody knows, it wasn't shot for real in real time. So, uh, this is why it can be very annoying. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but anyway, so we, but this is not, obviously tonight, we are not going to be able to do the absolute full, uh, every, every uh, part of this makeup from scratch because it would take too long. This, we were allowed a very long time to do this makeup originally. It was probably well over an hour for makeup on Tim. But I also was doing magenta, so there was the usual rush, but, um, this was 38 years ago, so it seemed, to, <laughs> it seemed in those days there was more time. Than <coughs> so I do remember lots of those walks. This uh, blue eyeshadow is slim with me. Um, 
you were talking also about like having a radio system that was installed outside of here. Right. Yeah. 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 Fun stories. The producer of the show was Robert Stigwood, one of the producers.